name is Miguel Mari Goodrich. I'm the nine line photographer and I've been doing photography for what? Four years now, professionally? What is it like to work for nine line as a photographer? It's, it's fun, it's awesome. You get to shoot stuff that not everybody can photograph. For instance, helicopters, Blackhawks, and tanks. You know, it, it's just, it's just crazy, it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. One day you'll be shooting on the range, and the next day you'll be jumping out of aircraft, no matter what. You know, um, it's just fun. The first step in this process is for our product development team to create a new clothing collection for us to sell. Know what type of garments that you're shooting. For instance, I was out in Blue Ridge with my home team. We had a good time and everything. The mission was to shoot fall winter apparel and SFG. SFG, if you guys don't know what it is, it means salty frog gear and this is our newest apparel collection for fishing and all the kind of outdoors activities that you can think of. The next step, of course, would be like creating a mood board, which is pretty much just like explaining or displaying how this type of garment can be portrayed for marketing for different type of creatives and stuff like that. The next step is to find the models that would actually suit this type of apparel. It's a very important process finding the model and it's a hassle sometimes because you have to kind of consider their availability and the time frame that we want to shoot. Since we know so many cool people, we always get somebody. Once we have the models locked down, the next step is locking down the location and thinking about how many days we're going to be out there shooting. Amongst that, the next step is to figure out the rest of the logistics. How many cars we're going to take, um, a gear list, and other certain type of things that we need to get prepared for. It's a day in the life, bro. Day in the life. When I meet a model for the first time, um, to break them in, I'm just me. You know, I make them feel comfortable. I tell them, listen, just be you. You don't have to pretend to be nobody else. Um, just be you. I promise I'm not a creep, so it's not what it looks like, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the unexpected, um, so we went fly fishing, right? It was very interesting, but there's certain times that you go out, like early in the morning, the amount of bugs that are out there were just ridiculous. Bug spray, bug spray, don't ever forget that. I could not concentrate. Not one single bit, because they kept biting me, they kept flying in my nose, in my mouth, my ears, in my eyes. It was terrible, it was terrible. So those are the kind of situations that are no fun, but you gotta make the best out of it. So guys, don't forget bug spray. Another thing that you will encounter are like, walking through like deep rivers, like deep, deep rivers with waders. And it's not just flat surface, there's rock, stones, everything in there. So you could trip, the camera can land in the water, and that's it for the photo shoot. So guys, be prepared, bring an extra body as well. Very risky. <laughs> Anything for the shot though. After a couple of days of just pretty much sleeping only four hours each day, because you get up early and the shoot ends around six o'clock, you know, you have to get ready for the next day. So once all that is done and wrapped the whole entire shoot, you know, it's time to go home. And that's where the stress really starts. You come home tired and everything. And then the, the pressure comes up with actually getting those image finalized from importing into your computer all the way to making sure that you select the photos that are really good, that not blurry, constantly sharp and in focus. 
um, it gets tedious because you go literally go through 10,000 photos for one session like that. Maybe even more. The team was great. I love them all dearly and definitely memories that I will definitely carry on for a lifetime and so will my coworkers, you know, we come up with certain things, what to do out there, always get new ideas, be inspired, and always brainstorm. So this whole entire trip was just awesome. There's a lot of stress attached to it. I have to say that too. But it's beautiful stress. It's stress that makes you grow to be better and strive better.